So yeah, I did come up with this theory as a way to kind of validate how I spent my time, but you know what? The more you think about it, the more it makes sense. So sue me for saying that it's actually beneficial for you to spend all of your time as a teenager on the internet, but I don't advise it because I'm pretty sure I'd win that lawsuit and here's why. When you're a teenager and you're in high school, you're kind of aware that it really, really sucks and that there's nothing you can do about how you have to spend all of your time with these mindless, vapid people that only know how to talk about like three different things and all three of them being themselves. I remember before I got into the internet I was really frustrated with everyone because no one liked the same things that I did, no one had the same opinions on things that I did. It's so great because you can go to a place like Tumblr and you can find all of these people into these fandoms and they all feel the same way about the same things that you do and you go on YouTube and you can find people like the same videos that you like and there's just this great sense of community on the internet and it really makes you feel accepted and it helps you kind of discover who you are a bit more and find yourself. I started making videos during my freshman year when I was 14 and that's also the same time that I started making friends on the internet and that just opened me up to a world of new perspectives. I have, you know, friends on different continents and their cultures are so different from mine. When I talk to them about their cultures, I'm able to understand so much more about the world and my own culture and how cultures reflect on a person. And if you don't get like this huge cultural epiphany in your life, you at least become really good with your time zones. Now if you're an active member of the internet there's two things I automatically know about you. One, the internet has made you a little bit gayer and two, the internet has taught you how to communicate better. Because you can find people with all sorts of different opinions on different things and you might try to have a conversation with them and you don't want it to end in you two screaming at each other. A great lesson I've learned from the internet is how to talk to people with polar opposite opinions than me and not get into a fight about it. And if you're a content creator, you learn how to tell a story, you learn how to be concise, you learn how to grab people's attention. Because before people learn about you and learn to trust your content, they don't really care about you unless you're really interesting to them. Along with learning how to communicate better, the other best gift that the internet has given me is self-confidence. Now I will admit that I've always been a pretty confident person, but after the internet I've got like confidence oozing out of every orifice of my body. I really hope that everyone has had this experience, but if you haven't, I want you to know how freaking cool it is to have someone that you don't know say to you, hey, I really loved what you just created. You're good at this. Keep doing it. Because, like, it's ridiculously hard to not feel good about yourself when you know that there are people that you don't even know that think that your input on things is valuable and that they care about what you have to say. Whether you just tweet and tumble or you also are a content creator, like you blog or you make videos, it also provides like a time capsule for your life. Like you can go back and look at what you were doing two years ago and what kind of person you were then and how you've evolved. And I think that's really cool because when you're a teenager, you definitely are changing a lot. Like your thoughts on one thing kind of vary month to month and it's really cool at least for me to go back on my videos on my YouTube channel and look at how much I've changed. And yeah, I will be kind of proud when I'm a mom and I tell my kids that I spent my weekends in high school talking to a camera to the internet and to be able to show them, hey, this is what I was like when I was your age and then have them make fun of me mercilessly until I die. Like I think that is such a beautiful concept to have and I'm so excited for it because I'm not ashamed at all to say that becoming slightly addicted to the internet when I was a teenager was probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me.